Keep watching Charis TV. I want to give you a lesson when you're a pastor. Number one, you must deny beautiful invitations. If there's an invitation, that seems to be like it's going to give you a better money deny it. Because it brings a temptation and works against the promotion that is coming. Deny. Let me try to tell you what I did. I denied invitations here so that God will send me. Because many places where you are invited, you are going to talk about things that they wish. Not what God has spoken. Do you know why do you know why many churches in our country South African pastors is not growing? Because our focus is not what God say. It's money. When you're a pastor, you start to look at money. Money will never come to you. It takes people from outside of our country to come and take money here. Even you must do the same. If people are coming from outside of the country, they come here and take money. Even you must have power to go outside of the country and take money there. There's nothing different. The problem we have is our focus. We think people we have will give us what we need. And whereas these people, 90% of them are there to tempt you. Many Christians who are in the church, you know, because in your calling there's a, there's a formative stage. In this formative stage, you have not found yourself. It's few people that, you know, devil want to use them to just put you astray on that formative stage. You'll find that the whole people, maybe one person in that church will be with you forever. Others are going. Are you hearing me? There's a stage which is advanced to all of them where God now wants to advertise you. If you pass formative stage and you go to preparatory stage where God prepare you because of what he wants to do with you, oh my God, you will understand that the people you have, you don't need them. You, you, you really understand that church is not all about these people who are coming to church. You don't need them. They won't take you anywhere. If your focus is these people in the church, you are bound to stay there. Because you don't know whether this one is a witch, why this person came, another is a satanist, another one is supposed to be a sangwama in your church. If you have not found any revelation about any member of yourself, you are in a formative stage. When God began to reveal people in your church, who's this one? You're in a preparatory stage. He's setting you with a level. I'm sure that's what I'm going to say. Amen. He's setting you to put you to where no one can stop you. If you want to do something with you, you will make sure that you know this one you are trusting is not. So that when he, he or she gives you money, you must not be happy about that money. Right now, you are counting your offering together, isn't it? Not knowing that inside it, there's another one that was used by Satan to attack you. When, after you pass preparatory stage, going to the victory stage, where God has to announce you, that's where now you see betrayers. 
That's where you will know that these people you are with are not your friends. They are not here to play with you. 90% of people who are around you, they want to be like you. These ones you are taking to be your ushers and what? They are learning something from you. And they want to take from you. When other people are coming, they want to take from you there. If you, if you give one a pulpit, just, just know you don't have a church. If you just give this one a pulpit, just know that you don't have a church. Because that person will be learning, looking at you, learning, looking at you. And also, it is possible for God not to raise anybody again. Because you have rushed to give someone a pulpit that God has entrusted you with. Here in Charisse, I've been preaching, 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 preaching. Even by the time of prophets, I was the one who was preaching for God to raise people. The last of all is, it's better you preach to your church even when the church is small, like this. Because God is not looking at that church, he's looking at your heart. If you are faithful or small, you'll be faithful and big. concern about it. I'm just concerned. I'm not saying this because I've arrived, but I wished, I've prayed several times that God allow me to sit down because I know what I'm having. I know that what I'm having, even when I'm sitting down, I'm preaching. Once you have passed a preparatory stage and you become in a victory stage where God announces, you are no longer crying for pulpit. I don't know if you're hearing me. You are no longer crying for pulpit. So I pray that today you people here, God will lift you and lift your ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me pray for you. Can I pray for you now? When you are faithful to your spiritual father, your spiritual father, there's nobody here on earth, you know, can be a pastor without a spiritual father or a spiritual mother. When, when you are faithful, because your spiritual parents determine your ministry. Or maybe I'm speaking something that you don't understand that. The ways that they are not telling you their wishes and their prayers normally happens to you. When you are faithful, you are bound to do what they have never done. Do you hear what I'm trying to say? When you are faithful, you are faithful like this. Things are like tough, like tough, like tough. Already God has declared you, but what you are going to do, they have never done that. You cannot be under a spiritual parents who fear God and you remain the same. Uh, maybe I'm making you angry, isn't it? <laughs> eh? Because you have to reach a level of discomfort where you have to be discouraged by others so that you must not seek them. Am I speaking sense with somebody? Eh? That is why many people think by themselves they can make it. It's not true. There's nothing like that. You cannot do it on your own. Even when it's the first time. <laughs> Look at this man. Look at this man. He has never, this thing has never happened. <gasps> Hey, what's going on? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. What's going on here? Oh. You see, I'm telling you. Stand up. Huh? I pray about this. You pray? Yeah, that you must allocate me today. And you know, it has never happened to you. And I'm still. Huh? I'm still at the fasting for that you can allocate me. Can you hear this? Man? 
Ja. Look at this man. Look at it. Look at this man. My brother, we need to pray for marriage. Yeah. You understand? Amen. Where's your wife? She said to work. Huh? She said to work. Let's pray for your marriage. Amen. God wants to use you, it's true. Amen. Let's pray for your marriage. Amen. In your family, there's a problem with marriages. Yes. Huh? Yes. So you will make it. Amen. God bless you. So did you ever fall before? So you have never experienced this, is it? Can you hear? The first time. Can you hear this? Some would just say it's the first time. Come say. Go. Look at this. If this man, this man cannot pretend. Can you see that man? It's not a small boy. This one cannot pretend. This one is not your age. No pretend. Look at this man. He cannot pretend. You see that? You cannot pretend. There are some people who will never pretend. Come. See, this man can't pretend this one. It's not a small boy. You can see he's still drunk. <laughs> what is your name? Huh? Joseph. Joseph. Look at, look at this man. Bring that man. <clears throat> Jesus' name. There are people who never pretend. They are not small boys. But boys like this one, you know, come. This boy. This, this one is a boy. This one can pretend. You can pretend. 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 Did you see how he fall? Can he fall that way by pretending? In Jesus' name. Lift him up. Yeah, he's free. Baba, you are free. You are all free. God bless you. Come, Mali Hori. Can you touch it? I release you in Jesus' name. I release you. You see, the Lipondo went out. <laughs> she can't preach it. She can't. Come, this. I release you in Jesus' name. Come here, Tendo. Touch your stomach here. I release you in Jesus' name. See, that, that little pond, that little pond is very tight. So I, I pray for them. God bless you. Can you come here? See, this man can't pretend. You see this way? In Jesus' name. Stand up, sir. Jesus' name. You are blessed. I'm just.
Bless you, pastors. Daddy, you drink and you, you too. You too come. Let me bless you. Come even in Jesus' name. Let me touch your stomach. Yes. Let me touch you. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come here. Let me put my legs here. Lift him up. So you, you want to be a prophet? Amen. Yes, that's true. Huh? That's true. You want to be a prophet? Amen. Huh? Yes, that's true. So nowadays, you can say, I want to be a prophet. Like, you want to be a president. <laughs> can you see that? Nowadays, you can say, I want to be a prophet. Like someone who wants to be a... You understand? Yes. Come here, where is he? So what are you doing now to be a prophet? I'm still preaching. You are preaching? Yes. After that, you be a prophet. Look here, look here. So when I pray for people, of you people, my heart, I feel is loving you a lot. I, I wish, I wish, I wish, uh, you know, your desire. I wish your desire can come to me.